I've gone ahead and randomized NHL players and we'll be selecting 20 to build a team. The twist for today is I will only be able to see the number of games that they've played. Once I've selected 20 players, we will build the team on NHL 24 and enter franchise mode to simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. We definitely have less information than the last draft. We could just go with the player with the most games played, but that definitely doesn't mean they're the best player on the screen. We got two that are really close. We do have one that's over a thousand though. So I'm going to go for the 1082 and hope for the best. And that one's going to pay off because we get even Steven Stamkos. What a beauty. He doesn't play for that team anymore. Clearly the NHL API hasn't updated it. That is an unbelievable way to start this team. What are we going to get next year? Okay, 229. Ooh, and then two players in the 600s again. You know what? I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to go for the player on the left and avoid the 600s again because it worked out for me last time. I would first like to point out that we just got Zucker two times in a row. And I did not know he had nearly 700 games played. We missed out on a Will Nye the Hockey guy. And we wound up with a Morgan Frost. 161. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of low numbers here. I know at least one of you is a gem, but which one? I was leaning towards the 161, but that would be three lefts in a row. We can't take another Larry. We're splitting the defenders, going down the middle, 240. He's pretty good. Like a mid-low 80s. I'm down with that. Mason Marchman, welcome aboard. 1,131. Holy crap. I do want to go with that player, but with that many games played, they could be on the decline. You know what I mean? I guess Stamkos is only one season away from that, but clearly Tampa Bay thinks he's on the decline. We haven't gone to the right side yet, so I am taking a stab in the dark at 334. What is going on with this generator today? We got Morgan Frost again now, but we got his teammate Joel Farabee on the team. And because we send these players to international, we are gutting the Philadelphia Flyers. For whatever reason, my instinct said to go with the middle 445. Let's make it happen. I'm not too upset about it. Robert Thomas would have been fire, but Roslevic is pretty good. 549, 500 flat. I think I have to go with the middle again, just because of how satisfying that is. This is really not working out too well for me. After the first one, we used up all our luck. We missed out on Kempe and Byfield, two LA Kings, and instead we get JT Comfer. Awesome. Let's bring the luck back. 848, 738, and 179. So the right, gone. We got to get somebody good here. I'm going... To the left, 848. Very happy with our pick, but this is just freaking me out. Why do we keep getting the same player twice? What's happening? That one worked out really well for us. Two players in the 400s and the oddball off to the left, and they do have the most. So, yeah, I'm not going to go weird with this one. 685, who are ya? And yet again, we get a player that we've already seen. What's happening? I didn't break the website somehow, did I? Anyway, would have been nice to get Petey. Instead, we got Wild Bill. That's fine. We're getting a 1,000 this time. I can feel it. No, not even close. Yeah, we're going for the most again. Off to the right with 652. I was so close to taking the middle player, and I am glad that I didn't. We get Dylan Larkin. Missed out on a Heesher. That's fine. They're both great. That would have been absolutely devastating if I went with the 145. He is kind of a be a pro legend though. Let's see it. 270, 586, and 582 players very close to each other. Do I go with the odd one out? I'm not going to go with the odd one out. And I'm not going to go with the 586. I'm going 580. Let's go. That was so clutch. All right. We get Braden Point. We missed out on Jared McCann and Owen Tippett. Doesn't matter. This will be our penultimate forward pick, and we have one player that has way more than the other two. I'm gonna play it safe and go for 350. I was literally just doing that to keep you guys on your toes, and it paid off. Instead of getting Eric Howla, we got Troy Terry. Seth Jarvis would have been cool, but Terry's probably the highest overall. Scary Terry, welcome aboard. And who will this final forward be? Just shy of 500 games. I am leaning towards that card. For some reason, the right one's just calling my name, so we're gonna go with it. You kind of hate to see it. Still a great player in Erickson Eck. Very solid. We could have had a Mitchell Marner, but we don't. Alrighty, folks, it is time to switch things up and draft a defender. Wow. I can't. I cannot. I have to go with three... No, I've, I'm going 347. I mean, yeah. Yokiharu might be low 80s, but the other two are definitely not cracking 80. That was a rough round. 
This is more like it. Wow, two players that are close again. Do I go with the near 500 is the cue of the day. Tough choice between the two left cards, but I am gonna go far left, 497. I really couldn't miss with this one. No matter what player I got, they were gonna be at least pretty good. So Chronic and Mayfield, great players. We get Sanheim. That's cool. We seem to have a lot of flyers on this team, so we continue to gut them. 330. No, that's not enough. That's not going to cut it. Was there any good rookie? De Actually, there was some good rookie defenseman this year. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Give me 76. That was a high draft pick. I have no idea what his overall is, but we are going to find out. 908. It's got to be. Definitely not 16. Holy. Yeah, this one's easy. We're going to the left. Clearly, it shouldn't have been that easy because we could have had a Miro on the right. Are you kidding me? TJ Brody is our selection. All right. All right. Definitely not. The right immediately eliminated. But now the last round's got me thinking if I want to go with the three si 365 days in a year. We're going middle. Zach Wierenski would have been great as well, but you see these three players, you're taking Quinn Hughes. We're already on our final defenseman. This is kind of flying by here. Now, going outlier, and also the most. 425 off to the left. I already forgot how many games he played, and we end up getting him anyway. Miro, welcome to the team. We're winning the Stanley Cup. We have to. Last but not least, we have our... Gold tenders, or I was gonna try to do like guardians or something. I can't though. Actually, yes, I sure can. Guardians of the crease. Let him cook. This one goes without saying. 505, easy peasy. Yeah, this team is nasty. Absolutely gross. We get Bucky, Connor Hellebuck as our starting goaltender. I'm kind of surprised that Nico Dawes only has 46. And most likely our backup goaltender. Oh dear. Oh my. Well, I'm not taking 30 and I'm not taking 9. So that leaves us with one player. Has Levi really only played 30 games? I just confirmed it with Hockey DB. That's crazy. We have a very solid team. Let's go over to NHL 24, assemble it, and put them through a simulation. We're here on NHL 24. The divisions have been randomized and the Dublin Dragons at 95 overall are right here, baby. I'm just thinking, do they have the same randomizer every time? Because we always end up on the far right and I feel like these are the teams in that division. If that's the case, not really a randomizer now, is it? We are the highest overall team. Carolina 94, but nope, we trumped them by one. Why hello there, jabroni. Nope, still not gonna edit my lines. I almost left Fantasy Draft on by accident. That would have been devastating and completely defeated the purpose of the draft I just did. All right, let's get this career started and go dominate the NHL. Let's see what the team chemistry looks like. Edit the lines, it's gotta be good. We got a bunch of very talented players here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Stamkos and Pointer being reunited, technically, because Stamkos is now in Nashville. We have a lot of centers on this team, which I feel like happens pretty much every time. How's about our defenders? We got chemistry back there. Oh no, we don't. That is horrible. I mean, this might be worth it. I don't want to do it, but all right, Miro, I guess you're starting on the second pair. If things aren't working out, we will re-promote you. In next, we have Connor Hellebuck backed up by Elvis. Let's go. We're off to a very good start here. Things you love to see that. The Golden Knights and the Blue Jackets actually keeping up with us though. Oh, never mind. Now it's Nashville and the Jets are there. 12-1 win over Edmonton. That was a statement game. Head coach Lane Sierra. Sarah? Could be either or. Gone. Our coach is only a B, so you know what? See you later, Garrison. We're going after Lane. An A-. minus. I'm feeling wacky crazy today. We're skipping the trade deadline. Are you kidding me right now? Seriously, Lane? I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. All right, well, I guess we're running with an interim coach then. To be fair, the interim coach fixed our chemistry defensively, so we can have these two going together. They're not a plus five, but... And this line's now a plus four. So maybe this is our guy. Bro had attitude issues or something. We completed the season with 51 wins. Let's go look at some stats. We did finish first in the division with 108 points, but that definitely doesn't guarantee us a president's trophy. It's possible, but there could definitely be a team with more. And there is the Edmonton Oilers have 110, which is great, actually. I don't want the president's trophy curse. Thank you. 12th placed Ottawa Senators, 95 points, get finessed out of the playoffs. That is gross. And the team that we gutted finished dead last. Last. Checks out. Steven finished the year with 90 points, Braden Point had 86, and then Zabeni had exactly point a game. Larkin had 32 goals, 74 points, that's really good. Quinn Hughes, 73. 
What a freak. Hellebuck had a 915 save percentage, 268 GAA. Elvis also had great numbers, so both of them did their job. Miro finished up with 44 points. He did play on the second pair for a majority of the year, so... That's probably why. Stewie Decimal System runs away with it. 47 wins. Next closest was Ingram with 39. And actually, can we talk about that for a second? 929 save percentage with 62 games played. What? Kale would be your defensive leader. No surprises here. 87 points. Quinn Hughes was number two, tied with good old Victor Hedman. McDavid gets the Art Ross with 105, but he does not get the Rocket. It looks like it might go to Ovi unless there's someone hiding down there. Nope, it is Ovechkin. Tanner Janot with the most Pims, 146. Very important stat. How'd this guy put up 94 points with no teammates? And also on the team that finished dead last. That's resiliency. That's impressive. Our first opponent is one of the natural disasters. We have the Avalanche, also a part of the elite group that doesn't have a plural team name. Wasn't a fantasy draft. We don't have to go look at their roster. First three games, everybody knows the rules. We start off with a dub. Ooh, oh, that's not good. But it's all right, because we're going to win this one, make it a best of three. You haven't earned a real-time sim, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> this game, man. Drives me crazy. I'm so glad we won that one Stanley Cup. Otherwise, I might have lost my head by now. The same team that won it in real life, the Florida Panthers, take home the Stanley Cup. Colorado Eagles get the Calder. I'm pretty sure Florida was in our division as well. Hmm. Braden had his guy. Stamkos did well. Sanheim. Zabeniad. We do... Why did Brody get four points in five games? Four goals! What? That is out of control. Goaltenders got lit up like Christmas trees back here. Elvis had to come in for relief one time and... Didn't do it. Yo, what is that? No. Five games, no points. Apparently, I should have kept Miro on the second pair. Spencer Knight had a very acceptable playoff run. 929 save percentage. That's okay. Kidding, of course. That's absolutely mental. And then we've got Jeremy Swayman, sub 900. <laughs> this guy's a brick wall. In the playoffs, he only had 10 games played, but a 938 save percentage. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? Charmack led defenseman for points with 23, and then we've got Montour and Makar tied with 20, but Makar did it in four less games. Pasta will not be your Conn Smythe winner. No siree, because they didn't win the cup. He did get 32 points in 22 games, however, which is crazy. I guess it's probably going to go to Reinhardt, who got 22, when it really should go to Spencer Knight. Give it to a guy that was point a game or a goaltender that had... Just shy of a 930. Art Heart combo, United with Connor McDavid. Kelmacar gets the Norris Lady Bang to Clayton Keller. That's a first. It better be Spencer. You are a sick and twisted game. Ingram gets the Vesna and the Jennings because, yeah. Scandella awarded the Masterton. Hartnell awarded the Jack Adams. Frank J. Selke goes to Rory. And then we have McDavid scoring a Ted Lindsay. Whereas, well, I guess it makes more sense for this one. Ovi scoring a Rocket Richard. I just got to check something real quick because I'm curious. Where? There's no injuries. Where is this guy? Where's Bedard? Okay, it does make sense that this guy got it. 67 points, but I'm still really confused. Gonna try searching for him? Is he, like, not in this? He's there. Did they assign him to the CHL? What? Here's your playoff tree. Florida did go on to win. They beat Colorado, who obviously was the team that beat us. They also dummied Boston in the finals, 4-1. All right, well, that about does it. I also would like to do this draft with just goals, assists, maybe just points as well. If you have draft ideas, go ahead, let me know down below. And while you're spitting some fire ideas, you might as well like, subscribe, and turn the bell on. You know, you might as well. Appreciate you as always. On that note, I'll see you soon.